Music is just another language. It's just a way to communicate with people that I've never met before. I started playing drums when I was about five years old. I started in school band, and I was terrible at the clarinet, which I was playing. The instructor just said, Mike, you're horrible. Go back to the drums. And so I started playing drums, and I wasn't very good at that either, but I enjoyed it a lot more. My father bought me a drum set to put at my mom's house. I had a divorced family, and he loved the idea of me playing a loud drum set in her house and driving her nuts. She kind of reversed it on him and super supported it and got me drum lessons. My early private teachers were saying, you don't improve ever, so you obviously don't practice. And I was very frustrated with them for not realizing I'm putting in three or four hours a day and I'm not improving. But it's not from lack of practice. It's not coming naturally to me. It's physically so demanding to play four things at the same time. I just couldn't give up on it. I felt like it was like puzzles that I had to solve. And I know you're going to do your best, man. This is drummer number 22. Judges, it's Mike Johnson. When I was 17, I started teaching in a music store. Private drum lessons. And it just kind of happened and fell into my lap and at the time I was in a local rock band when I was about 21 years old we got our first major label record deal and that was the dream you're in a signed band you're going to go out on tour for six years we were opening for whatever the big bands of the 90s were so we played with Foo Fighters, Blink-182, Rage Against the Machine, Korn, Deftones and it only took maybe about a month or two months before I started to realize this might not be my dream and as soon as the show would be over I would always go on to our tour bus and get the other drummers from the tour collected around me and we would work on things when we were supposed to be out partying. So I made a really tough decision which was to leave a signed you know, band behind just so I could teach private drum lessons. We have a very special drummer in our studio today with a very unique way of teaching these lessons. This is so cool. Really looking forward to this. KCRA 3 reports at 7 a.m. I officially quit my band when I was 26 years old. We were in New York, and I had decided this, I, I have to go. Like, I'm not enjoying this anymore. I flew to this new town that I didn't know anyone at. I had no job prospects, and I had a, enough money to get me through maybe two months of living, and then I'd be in trouble. To do that, to teach, scared out of my mind. New at six, he went from being a Sacramento drum teacher to an international inspiration. Yeah, his name is Mike Johnston, and he started Mike'sLessons.com, and now he's teaching students who live thousands of miles away online. Mike'sLessons.com is a website that delivers education. At the rudiment itself, you can see that it's actually now. We offer live streaming drum lessons where people can interact with me live, and we offer pre-recorded downloadable content and in the beginning it was the wild wild west like there was no tutorials because no one was doing it i was literally plugging three or four firewire cameras into the back of a computer and hoping it didn't shut down every broadcast what is up everybody how are you guys doing welcome into the 11 a.m live lesson hope you guys are doing fantastic full house today nate how you doing buddy doing well this was the website that i wanted my icons to make for myself i wanted Dave Weckl and Vinnie Kelly to, to make this website for me, and since it wasn't being made, I figured I'd make it for the rest of the world. Hey Mike, this is Teresa, I'm 38 years old from New Mexico. Hey Mike, my name is Jonathan Sarid, I'm 16 years old from Tel Aviv, Israel. And I'm Axel Averio, and I'm from Manila, Philippines. My name is Chase Israel, I'm from New York. Hey, I'm from France. Wait to you from... It actually is a family, and I've seen other 
you know, online websites try to take that and think that, oh, that's the buzzword that makes this website successful. We're going to call ours the blah, blah, blah family. And that really upset me because family is such not a buzzword for me. You know, I'm an only child, divorced parents. So family for me was the people you love. It was never blood. I would call you on the phone if you were thinking about quitting drums. That's what family does. And we've had that happen so many times. On the Mike's Lessons family page, somebody will just post, I just don't know if I'm meant for this. I'm about to give up. Boom. 200 posts immediately. We got your back, bro. I think the nastiness in music comes from an early age. You're trying to be better than everyone around you. Even in school music, your first chair, your second chair, your third chair, you're being ranked immediately. A lot of times we get stuck in this world of this drummer is either better or worse than me. Or this guy, I mean, you guys are sitting next to a lot of strangers. And it's very natural for you to size up the competition and say, this guy's better than me, this guy's worse than me. That's the worst attitude you could possibly have. You turn this whole thing into a competition. Trust me, in art, you can't win. It doesn't take any brain power. You can totally catch up on Breaking Bad while doing it. I saw Mike Johnson through YouTube videos. The way he did everything that he does is just re really, really inspirational. So I decided to, you know, come to his drum camp. It's interesting and exciting to see people from all over the world with different backgrounds, different lifestyles, to come together for a week and just bond over something that they all love. Almost, you just gotta make that it's so that much more than just about playing the drums. Yeah. You, that that comes, but just the bond that you make with the with everyone and with Mike and like I said, it's just it's just amazing. It's not a drum camp. It's a life camp with some drums in it. No. There you go. Yeah, own that. For me, this is inspiration. That's it. Perfect. Now do it with your hands crossed. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Now you're at home. <laughs> if it's got no show, it's got no go for Chris. Everyone in the group is just is just so amazing, such positive attitudes. And I think that's something that Mike really represents. Because Mike is honest, a lot of the ego just goes right out the door. Was it going so well that you I just like, thought that that would maybe keep the time. I just thought, no. I wouldn't no, do count that. out loud. Count out loud. That's the time. You are the time. He's not afraid to tell you, you know, where you messed something up, but he's there to support you so the next time that you do it, you do it right. We're all kind of going through the journey. We all feel great and we feel terrible and we feel great and we feel terrible. And we, we end the week feeling great, right? The kind of brotherly thing for me is really important. Trying to be a drummer for me was really difficult. Is it going to be possible? Is it too hard for me to get good enough to really enjoy it. Dude, if you can do that, I swear, the Yugoslavian studio scene will be dominated by you. <laughs> and now I know I, I can do that. So far, the biggest highlight I've had as an educator was giving a clinic at PASIC. And that's a giant conference of people that are majoring in music, people that are educators from all over the world. It's the most intelligent crowd I've ever played in front of. At PASIC, everyone knows everything. So every note is dissected, and they know exactly what you're doing, they know whether it was right or wrong, and that was one of those things where this either takes your career to a new level, or it just kind of stalls you. If it goes good, you push on to the next level. If it doesn't go good, people just forget about you. And to get a standing ovation at the end of that, I, I, I had to leave the stage because I was crying. Like I'd, I'd waited my whole life for like that. Hey guys.
you know, they say that you shouldn't meet your heroes. You know, you put them on such a high pedestal. It's one thing to be a great drummer, it's another to be a great person. He just has so much passion for what he does. There's not a moment of this camp that I'll ever forget. I realized a long time ago that my students' success would never threaten me, ever. And I think there's a lot of teachers out there that when they see a student rising and rising, it immediately becomes like, oh, I don't want to teach you much more because you're getting really good. And I watch students rise and surpass me. I felt that education was always a plan B. It was a fallback plan. And the teachers were saying, well, I wanted to do this, and since that didn't happen, I guess I'll teach. And I could feel that as the student. It was like, you don't want to be here. And I always felt that if somebody walked in the room to my drum teacher and said, hey, your idol is on the phone and he wants to take you on tour, I think my teacher would have left me and I'd just be in a room by myself. And I wanted to be the opposite. The guy that told the secretary, I know Phil Collins just called, I know Peter Gabriel just called and Sting just called, I'm busy teaching a lesson. This is my plan A. The world shouldn't determine what your dream is. You determine your dream, and you follow that. And it, it has nothing to do with financial success or recognition. It has to do with happiness. What's up, everybody? Welcome into the 6 p.m. live lesson. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this ever turned into Star Trek and there was no money and we just lived for self-improvement, nothing in my life would change. I'd come to work every morning the exact same way I do. I'd write my PDFs. I'd make my MP3s. I'd get on camera and I'd deliver information. I've even said when I die, if I don't wake up in this right here, if this isn't heaven, I'm going to be upset at whoever was calling the shots. Because this is it. This is all I want to do every day. Music is just another language. It's just a way to communicate with people that I've never met before. I started playing drums when I was about five years old. I started in school band, and I was terrible at the clarinet, which I was playing. The instructor just said, Mike, you're horrible. Go back to the drums. And so I started playing drums, and I wasn't very good at that either, but I enjoyed it a lot more. My father bought me a drum set to put at my mom's house. I had a divorced family, and he loved the idea of me playing a loud drum set in her house and driving her nuts. She kind of reversed it on him and super supported it and got me drum lessons. My early private teachers were saying, you don't improve ever, so you obviously don't practice. And I was very frustrated with them for not realizing I'm putting in three or four hours a day and I'm not improving. But it's not from lack of practice. It's not coming naturally to me. It's physically so demanding to play four things at the same time. I just couldn't give up on it. I felt like it was like puzzles that I had to solve. And I know you're going to do your best, man. This is drummer number 22. Judges, Judges it's Mike Johnson. No, no, no. When I was 17, I started teaching in a music store. Private drum lessons. It just kind of happened and fell into my lap and at the time I was in a local rock band when I was about 21 years old we got our first major label record deal and that was the dream you're in a signed band you're going to go out on tour for six years we were opening for whatever the big bands of the 90s were so we played with Foo Fighters Blink-182 Rage Against the Machine Korn Deftones and it only took maybe about a month or two months before I started to realize this might not be my dream and as soon as the show would be over I would always go on to our tour bus and get the other drummers from the tour collected around me and we would work on things when we were supposed to be out partying. So I made a really tough decision which was to leave a signed you know, band behind just 